Hello and welcome to Thalric Place Darkest Dungeon. The following episode was recorded during one of my live streams on Twitch, so without further ado, let's jump into the episode. Um, don't really want to go for the Darkest Dungeon today, I think. Maybe we'll just do another Apprentice level. Because... That's, uh, we still need to level up replacements, possibly. Oh, what's this one? Okay, I haven't seen this one before. A long one in the warrens could actually be okay, yeah. Not against that. It's a medium, it's a medium. Okay, let's do the, sh let's do the long one here. That's good. Who do we use? We do use him. I'd also like a real healer. Let's actually go in like this, I think, and then we'll use um, Pointil for this. Which means he's going to hit rank 3. These are going to hit rank 2. And then I have another rank 2 squad possible here that is going to hit rank 3 fairly soon. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Let's go for... Go for... Trinkets. And now, I think I'm going to go with a Bright Tambourine. It's more stress healed. I do like that. Actually, let's think about this. Do I want to go in dark here? I think it's it's a long dungeon, but we have decent damage. And I have a good healer, I have a good I have a jester. Yeah, let's let's do a long dark run. It worries me a little bit. But let's let's try. Let's have some fun. Go with the moon cloak. For his protection, he will go with a moon ring and still the protective collar. And he is using a moon ring and a moon cloak, I guess. Yeah, that works. Let's go back and take care of their upgrades real quick. Where we still need to do them. Here we do. And here as well. Okay, also skills. What does he actually have right now? He already has the important ones. Oh yeah, already has all of this. Chadwood does need the upgrades though. He already has all of them. No, we do need his stun now. He's in, in second. Okay, he, he does have that, but I just didn't use it yet. He's got the self-heal if he needs it. What do I want with him? We do want the stress heal. We want the self-heal. We don't want Hugh. We want a Perch for the corpse clear. Okay. And now we're ready. Let's provision. And see, it's a long mission, which means I do need a lot of food. And I'm probably going overkill as so often. But better safe than sorry. Go with this many torches. Let's take one holy water. Well, actually, let's take none. It's just not going to get used. Okay. And I think, once again, this is probably going to be the last one for today. Uh, getting a bit tired. It's going to take a while to finish this one. Because that dungeon is... Um, kind of big. Uh, why did I buy torches? I want to go in dark. I'm dumb. Yeah. 
So, now, I guess we'll do this. Dominion. Just dump some torches. Black as there we death. go. Why did I buy those? I, you see why? Why I think I should probably end after this. I'm, I'm not making smart choices right now. I'm just uh, making mistakes, pretty much, and that's not what I want to do. And so we will leave it at this. I hope that this will work out. That I'm not doing the wrong thing here, but. We do have a fairly decent setup, and as long as I can keep the, the health going, here we should be okay, more or less. Decimated. That's a start. Another one falls. That's another one. And I probably just want to, as I've said, keep the health going as much as possible. Beat them up. We can't do anything here. Let's go for the battle ballot. Okay. After the questionable start, I'm okay with how that went. And I think we once again have a good amount of damage. The Lepers deal a lot of damage. I do have some good stuff on him. The Houndsmaster, of course, is pretty good. The Vestal is a reliant healer, or a reliable healer. And the Jester is at least... Um, it's going to be able to, to take care of our stress problems, pretty much. See how big is that bleed? Good enough, he's dead. Let's get this one. Another abomination cleansed from okay, our good. They only got one attack here, and I will be able to heal again. We also have a self heal on him and on the leper, and we then we have the jester. Which means I do have a lot of healing capabilities overall. I don't have a lot of stun. We have just two stuns, and one of them is um, not that good because of these uh, the, the holy orders, not the sacred scrolls. That's what it's called. But it's still okay. Should be doable. Uh, well, let's just go for the swine wretch. Executed with impunity. With impunity. There we go. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ah, creeping cuff. What does that do? Minus 20% damage. That's kind of horrible. Considering it's so early in the dungeon, this is really annoying. Their formation is broken. Ah. Maintain the offensive. We'll have to live with it, but I'm 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 not okay with it. I'm not. It doesn't change anything. I just wanted to point out that I'm I'm against that. In case you were wondering. Yeah. I mean damage is still okay. Give them no quarter. It basically negates um the moon ring's damage bar bonus. His damage still isn't bad, but it could be so much better. First big fight. Forms uh, of Doom. Vomit back there. Into a crit. That's... Ah, oh, come on. More diseases. Not enough. That's a bummer. As the fiend falls, what does the syphilis do? Hope blossoms. Minus accuracy, damage, and max HP. Yeah. I could once again point out that I'm not a fan. Confidence surges as the <laughs> enemy crumbles. Ball chain back there. We do have to take care of her stress now. Unfortunately, she can't heal. I would have gone for a group heal. Would have been good for us. But since we can't, I'll take a crit. That's also something we can work with. Let's stun this one by ourselves around to heal and take care of some stress here. Also, I might not have been able to kill him with that one attack. And then he would have been able to deal more stress damage. And group heal. There we go. Need to remember that this is apprentice level. They don't... 
uh, actually the group heal isn't that good yet. I mean, that was probably minimal, and with Junior's head and stuff like that, we should be able to do a little bit. We should be able to be a little bit better. Wait, I didn't select the fourth skill with him yet. Why didn't I notice that? That was dumb. I wanted to corpse clear here, obviously, and then I noticed that I couldn't. So there we go. Let's change that, shall we? Uh, take that. Not take the shovel. Okay. Uh, nope. Perch. Sacrificial stone. I don't think I can go for that. I probably need the. Nothing. Okay. Oh, it's just. Ge now nah, I've got a 50% chance to get stressed out. I think I'm okay with that though. Okay. Cophobe quirk removed. There we go. Not that I would go into the cove with him. No, wrong direction. Okay, where do we go first? Probably this way. Oh, for that I'm happy that I didn't dump all my torches. So happy. Uh, probably want to go with him because he's got three that are locked in. That all that are bad. Oh, yeah. Let's hope we get rid of that one. Ruminator. Okay. Still fine. <sighs> Actually get a scout. It's always nice when you're in the dark. Oh, uh, that's fine. Just kill this guy. And we probably want to stick to stress relief with them right now. Just keep the numbers low before they get too high. Might not might might not come into effect too much, but better safe than sorry. And in a fight where it's just there where there's just three enemies, we can definitely afford to do that. And I'd rather do it now than have issues with that later. Let's give ourselves a round of, of stress healing here, possibly. There we go. He can do that himself. Uh, yep, one more. And then we can also go for a group heal with her. And then we'll look fine and we can just kill her. Sounds like a plan? Yeah, that's a better group heal than two for everybody. I thought that number sounded a little bit low. Is she bleeding? She is, but it's not enough. Would have needed a little bit more damage there. No damage and no push. Makes this fine. Okay, there we go. Good crit. A trifling victory. But a victory but a nonetheless. Victory nonetheless. Wayne June. I still think it's really cool. I don't know if how how known that is. There, they um, the developers and of Darkest Dungeon, Red Links. What, what? I don't remember the name. I think that's the right name, but I'm not completely sure. Um, they actually with Wayne June, the the guy that that voices the the narrator, they uh, recorded some um, custom lines for streamers uh, that were prominent in playing Darkest Dungeon to advertise their game a little bit more, which I think is a really cool idea. And um, I know of one streamer that I, or streamer slash YouTube personality that I like to watch um, that actually got one of those or two of those. I don't know how exactly that worked. It's been a while. Uh, please bleed. Nah, of course not. But I, I still think that's a, it's a really cool idea. Wow. Yeah, I should have hit him, I guess. I know why I want to go for stress right away. Holy crap, yeah, him. I shouldn't have taken him with that plus 20% stress if torch below 26 in this case is a dangerous thing to do. A very dangerous thing to do. It's too late now. But it's 
it could land us in some trouble, without a doubt. Um, I mean, his stun resist is so bad. We actually get some light. Hey, didn't want that. So let's kill him. Keep doing what we're doing, I guess. I think I'm gonna stick to stress relief with him for now. Do I? No, we don't have a way of getting rid of that right now. She can deal some damage and heal herself in the same process. That seems like a reasonable idea. Uh, okay, we dodged with three of ours. That's good. Let's stun him again. Because I'd like to at least go for one more round here. Yeah, yeah, I don't have anti-venom though. So it doesn't help you to, to cry after that, buddy. Okay, and now I think we're, we're good to go. If possible, I'm going to go for one more stress heal, which we do actually get. But now we can, can take him down. Yeah, let's just do that. As victories mount, so, so too, too will resistance. Will resistance. There it is. Um, possibly the medicinal herbs, I guess. As much as I would like to keep them. The dark Go back into Blackest Pitch. Question is also human. when do I want to camp? Might want to do that fairly soon, actually, to give ourselves some buffs, maybe? What do we have? Okay, we've got Sanctuary to prevent a nighttime ambush if we want. Possibly. We've got Tiger's Eye. We've got Therapy Dog, which would be a decent setup. And Bloody Shroud. I think it might be okay to actually just camp right away, because we have two of them anyways. And it will clear up some room. Yeah, let's, let's go for the first camp. Uh, together. We can afford to feast, Critic reduce our vulnerable. stress. Rats in a maze. We'll use Therapy Dog. Tiger's Eye on... Possibly still him. Let's still prevent the nighttime ambush. I still think that's possibly the worst idea. Or the best idea. There we go. Don't Tonight, need to deal with that. Promise of safety. Uh, that. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. And I probably should go this way first and then come back this way. But I want to see about the curios. You know what? It's fine. We'll go down here and then we go like this. Yeah, that still works. That still works. Hey, we've got two more torches that we don't actually want to use. But let's keep them nonetheless for now, as long as we don't have to dump them off. Also another shovel. Okay. At least so far we didn't get surprised, which would have been unfortunate. But since that didn't happen yet, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> At some point I do start to question how much sense what I say still makes, and I think I'm starting to to be less and less uh Oh wow, holy crap. Uh I'm starting to repeat myself and what I'm trying to say, um, because I'm trying to come up with new stuff, but it's still it's fairly late in Germany already and I'm just not that good anymore with that and because of that my, my commentary is suffering a at least a little bit. I'm trying to keep things things smooth here, but uh, might not be possible at all times. Prodigious size alone does one down. Not the sharpened blade. And that's two down. At least my uh, the the um, the dark 
where the pitch black approach is working so far. Happy about that, of course. Last time I tried that, I think it was in a champion dungeon as well, and that just went uh, horribly wrong. And since then, I've been reluctant to try that again, but once again, I need to remember myself in a. I don't have bandages. In, a, in an apprentice level dungeon with the trinkets that I have, it usually should should be okay. But I should have checked for negative quirks uh, for low torchlight before going in there, and I wouldn't have taken him if I had to, if I would have if I had seen that before. Because the stress that he's taking, if he's taking stress, is not something that I'm happy about. It's it's. Pretty horrible. I mean, we we saw how how big of a jump he did there once he got hit with the with that drum attack. Ancient traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsting for blood. Okay. And I need to take out the swine drummer as quickly as possible. That's the one that is the, is dangerous here. Yeah, and of course he goes for him. Ah, oh, with a crit. Okay. Actually fine in this case, as it turns out. But we're still gonna target him. He's bleeding. Let's kill him. And she's going to judgment him back here. And now he's... Ah, he survives with one hit point. That's when it gets annoying again. I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Please stack the bleed. Okay, he's dead. And he's now dead as well, but he does get another round of drums. Great is the weapon but at least he didn't go for hitting everybody, which he could have done. And right now we can bring a little bit more control into this again and just um, try to get... A stress heal off before we kill the, the swine chopper here. I think that's a good idea. Okay, yes. There we go. And that should be good enough. Death by inches. Got the butcher cut. Ideally, I'd like to get a heal here. Before we kill him. Yeah, let's just... Let's just do that. Let's... Heal him, and he's stunned again. So we're, we're, we're okay. There we go. That's good. And now we can kill him! Well, we're still gonna reduce stress with the Jester, of course. He wouldn't be able to attack there anyways. There we go. This momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay, care about that. Let me go down first. Well, once again, if possible, I'm going to try and do all the rooms with this, just for for the loot. We're actually not getting quite as much as I thought we might get. Do I want to dump the torches now? I think I'm still going to keep them because there might be more um, scrolls that we can burn. And I'm gonna dump the dog treats now because I keep forgetting about them anyways at all times. Unfortunately. And before I start dumping heirlooms, I should dump the, the, the dog treats, I think. We don't necessarily need them anyways. And I'm really hoping for for more chances to get rid of negative quirks. But, oh well. We'll get them or we won't. 
Oh, surprised. Well, that's still an okay spot to be. Especially if she gets pushed back again. Well, then the Jester would be able to do anything. But he can still do pretty much everything important from back here. Ah, he's not gonna bleed. That's a bummer. Good crit. Good crit. It's not enough to kill them. But it could be... Soon. Ish. She can at least still group heal from there, which is why it isn't that horrible. Would have liked to kill him, of course. Possibly want to do this. Yes, thank you. And if the initiative is in the same order again, well, he will get to attack, so she can't heal. That would have been the thing that I, I'm looking for. Success so Since clearly. That did not work. Let's just or kill him and move on. A drink of the light? Okay, nothing. Up we go. We still have more than enough food. And I should probably just camp again. Uh, once I reach this room. Or maybe I I don't want to camp again yet. Just to, to keep myself looking okay. Yeah, he just needs to move. We're just gonna move him all the way back. Which means she will still just be able to um, stress heal. Ah, oh, not stress heal, to group heal. That's the word. Actually, I should have moved him to here. Because him it doesn't help him Mortality to go for that. A single what strike. do you guys why? Why is their initiative so high? Well, we got surprised, that's pretty much why. But still, was that necessary? Okay, that's two down. Should have gone for the spitters first, actually. It's too late now, though. Um, probably go for the speed buff. Try and get in there before they do. Okay, he is gonna self-heal, I think. Even though we probably could have killed one of them, I'm still okay with that. We're gonna group heal, and then we can kill it. That's better. And the Blight isn't too big, it's just for one damage. Let's just hope that I get to act before he does, which uh, I think we should, and I... Th okay, we can't stun, that's right. We're in third, not in second there. Oh, nice. These nightmarish That's creatures really good. can be felled. They can be beaten. I'd like to take that. Which means now I'm going to start dumping other stuff. But the emerald... I should camp. Yeah, I need the... I need the inventory space. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself against the common And I think horrors. we're just gonna do the same again. Prevent the nighttime ambush. Go therapy dog. Go tiger's eye. And... I don't know. Minus 15 stress on him. And put everybody down again. There we go. As the light gains the purchase, torchlight. Spirits are lifted. this one up. And purpose is made clear. Well, that doesn't help me necessarily. Let's just go up. I'll have to see if, if we go for all the rooms, but I think we do, which means I need to do a little bit of backtracking. But that's okay, nice, we dodged the trap. Okay, that's an annoying fight once again with the Swine Drummer and the, uh, the Wretch. Ah, I forgot to put my party in the right order again. <laughs> I'm a smart person. Let's buff. Don't need the stress heal yet. We should be able to deal with this, but it's not ideal. As you might expect. I think I should actually just move him. It's better that way in, in the long run. It will allow him to stun. She can do more than just boop heal. Hey, Cubone. Uh, I'm doing a dark 
uh, yeah, a dark run right now, a torchless run on a long apprentice level. It's it's going fine. We killed the hag, uh, very unceremoniously. She just uh, folded and died pretty instantly. But right now I forgot to put my party in its right order again, and I had to deal with that for a moment, but it's still not, but it's it's okay. Especially if I crit. Executed. A little bit more stress to work with here, but oh uh, well. So have you achieved a higher state of drunkenness, or are you still too sober? <laughs> Are we looking at here? I think this. Uh, yeah, the 12 pounder worked out pretty well as well. Actually, it took me uh, more than I anticipated, or it was a little bit more difficult than anticipated, because it's just a. You always need to make sure that you kill the, the, the match guy, the fuse guy. Um, and because of that, it just takes a while, and I was taking it very safely. And then I got annoyed with it and went a little more aggressively and took it down in a few turns, and it, it, it worked out fine. Uh, still not gonna take any of those. Ah, uh, Rocket League. I know the saltiness of Rocket League. I play that as well. Ah, there we go. Secret room. Perfect. Ah, this is awesome. Very happy. Bone altar. What do we get here? It's just a buff. Or just above is is maybe too small of a word. It's it's straight up only a buff and a good one. Yeah, the ding, the ding always important. I'm really missing James today. It's sad that he's not here. Oh, that one was close. Eighty percent, ninety percent, ninety percent is probably as best that it, as good as it gets. Especially on a dark run here. I think I can actually get rid of more food. I mean, I don't have my... Um, let's just go in here for now for the... There we go. Now I know that we already have the quest complete. Oh, wow. I almost went to quit there. Um, but I want to keep going and do the last three rooms here. And then we'll go back for that. And maybe we'll find something interesting and just more loot and more money, of course. And I can still dump the torches. I'm gonna live with their damage. I could kill one of them. I'm gonna start dealing damage back here because I don't want to deal with the stress. I don't care too much about their blind. I really don't. Strike. It's fine. I just want the, the swine drummer to be gone. Wait, this one. There we go. So the Swine Drummer is dead. And the Carrion Eater here is not quite dead, but that's okay. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, let's, let's start healing that up. Uh, actually, I decided beforehand, and then because I'm dumb, I forgot about it again and bought torches. I actually bought... Two and a half stacks of torches, and once I was in the dungeon, I remembered. Oh, yeah. Uh, didn't I want to do something different? And yeah. <laughs> Smart me. It's too late for me right now. It's uh, it's it's a good sign to just not keep going. I guess. It actually wasn't bad that I kept the torches because there was the um. The, the scrolls curio where you can use a torch to remove a negative quirk and because of that I was able to remove a negative quirk so it wasn't all bad but um, I also found two torches so I would have been able to just go back for that but I'm trying to to rationalize my my bad choices here <laughs> I remember when I I think I couldn't do burn two or three of them because I, I was dumb and I didn't have any torches. But it happens. Okay, let's just see about the curio. 
And also there's a trap that we can use to get rid of a little bit more stress here. And then we'll just turn the back. Corruption. But this one went, went fairly well. I just remembered that I, I should do more apprentice level dungeons in the dark. With the jester especially. Because then we can keep things going pretty smoothly. Ah. <sighs> And you can't imagine how how happy I am that that you're back because I've I've been I, I said it at the beginning or during the the early time that I'm I, I was starting to struggle with with talking uh, because it's 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 late and I don't know what to talk about right now I'm drawing a bit of a blank and it's nice when there's somebody in chat that you can chat with literally uh, it makes it makes things easier ah crap okay I was hoping for more damage. So less than ideal outcome here. It's just nice if you can talk with somebody as well. It gives me something to, to talk about. Otherwise I'm just talking at at the screen pretty much. It it's fine, I'm used to that. I mean I do that for YouTube as well. Just to talk about everything. But it's it's still nice to to have somebody to interact with. There we go. Up in the night. Nah, it's fine. I, I am a bit tired, which is why I said at the beginning of this that uh, this is pretty much going to be the last mission for today. It's it's a long dungeon. I mean, I've been I've been at it. I started five hours ago or something like that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, one. Ah, actually, I'm I'm at about four hours streaming right now. It's still okay. I, I did longer ones before, but oh well, it's fine. Uh, Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow too bad. and Now we can get the torches and possibly the crests and take the jade as well. Well, I should have dumped the the shovels first, but it doesn't matter. We need to get rid of those anyways. And there we go. Let's just go back up go for the secret room and then we can go for that went better than expected I assumed we would have a little bit of a harder time but it worked out pretty well I think we still have one skeleton key dump the shovels dump the food take everything and leave there we go the swine folk's labyrinth may yet prove to be navigable. And that looks like more disease. I'm collecting that again. Well, they both got diseases in the first fight, I think. And pretty annoying ones. Uh, healer's gift is unimportant. Wheel tactician is nice. CTO mania. Ugh. Obsessed with food. Not that big of a fan. In time. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. Okay, let's see. Remove those. And equip all trinkets, as always, and do this. At least my money right now is looking awesome again, but I mean, I still have a bunch of upgrades to, for rank, to rank 5 to do. Actually, not that many, but some, and those are expensive enough. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that, of course. Um, and I just, I just like being able to, to do long streams on, on the weekends when I don't have to work. Uh, I think we'll just go with the medical ward on both of them. Ah, crap. I actually didn't... <laughs> I just saw Jester and said, oh yeah, I had a Jester right now, let's do that. I didn't want to remove his one. Ugh, it's fine. Let's get rid of the Syphilis. And the Creeping Cough. Okay, he hit rank 3 with that. Which means we're a little bit closer. I don't necessarily need a Veteran Squad anymore. But it's nice to have some options when I don't really want to go for a... A champion dungeon but I think next time we definitely want to go for the third darkest dungeon quest uh, yeah that's probably 
what we're going to end up with. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. If you want to catch me live on during one of my streams on Twitch, feel free to follow the link to my channel and follow me there to get notified when I stream. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel here if you haven't done so already. And then, because this is the end card in case you haven't noticed yet, here are two more uh, suggestions as to what else you could watch from me. And that's it. So, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.